Hello everybody and welcome to another video. In this video we're going to look at some squats that are not leagues of Voltan. Yes, that's right. The people over at Games Workshop's community team dropped an article about some new Necromunda, not Voltan, but squats. And it kind of got me thinking of why do these look amazing and we're better than the Voltan when they're not. Vo anyway, let's jump in and we'll have a look at them. So here's the article. So across the ash waste in the short order with the Scalvenine Explorator and the Ironhead Squat Prospectors. Now we're going to have a little look at the Necromunda squats in a whole because there is an actual unit for them. And it's kind of cool and the aesthetics kind of get that miney vibe. Um, something that the Leagues of Votan don't really have. And it's kind of like, the aesthetics here are way better um, than what the Votan have. And I'm a big fan of the Votan. So, let's have a little look. So this is a new resin kit, and it's basically like a transport for Necromunda. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, Necromunda is a, a game, um, it's just like a specialist game, and it's kind of expanded into vehicles now. You get this really big thing like called the Ridge Hauler, um, which is like a really big sort of Mad Max type lorry that drives through the waste outside of the Undercity um, and they kind of fight outside. And so the game used to be just gang warfare in these hives on Necromunda and it's kind of expanded out now to the waste grounds in everything else. So it's, it's very Mad Max and the Votan or the Squats have got this new model um, the, a couple of new models so there's this which is um, this new sort of transport because um, they don't use ridge haulers and it's basically um, it's got toughness 7 uh, and a formidable 9 with a, a movement of 6 um, so like I'm not a big big player of Necromunda um, but like I would love to see these in the League of Voltan Army um, and especially these models that are about to be shown now. Um, these are the couple of the new characters. So you've got the, the last charter, Lord of Jarland, which has got this really cool big pipe. Now, one of the things that I will say with this guy straight away is that there is definitely a Karajan Overlords vibe to this guy, as well as the sort of Leagues of Voltan vibe. And I think that's kind of what the Leagues of Voltan in 40k have kind of got missing. And we're going to switch over to the Leagues of Voltan in a second. And we're going to have a little look at their range. And you can kind of see what I mean by that. Um, but this is a pretty cool model. And, and his little robot is pretty sweet. The guy's got a big ass pipe, which is always cool. Um, so big pipe. Big pipe is cool. And then there's this guy here. And this guy, for me, is the one that stole the show. Um this this is the model i want i want this model in my leagues of Voltan army um this model is really really cool i like this model a lot he has a really some really nice aesthetic parts you can see some of the aesthetics from the Voltan in these like so that pistol uh sort of like the revolver type pistols that they've got um and some of the shape to their armor but all in all i would really love to see these miniatures in the leagues of Voltan. So these are the Leagues of Voltan. This is the combat patrol for the Leagues of Voltan. And it kind of gives a good mix of what these guys are. And the, the sort of the aesthetics that they've got. So you can kind of see straight away that they've got that weird armor. And then the sort of like spacesuit type things. Kind of how the Necromunda guys have got. But they haven't. Um, the, the normal um, the warriors that they have. Their basic troops are really quite nice. I enjoyed painting the Leagues of Voltan a lot. Um, and the only reason why I stopped collecting them was because I was really sick of the constant points increases. Now, originally, I got this box, um, or I got the launch box um, for them originally, and then I I'd, I'd managed to get two. And I had, like, a double amount what I got. And as I was trying to build my army, um, every time I went to write a new list and then went to literally... Go right. I've got a list. I'm gonna to need to get this, this, and this. 
the points would change and then I would be like, oh my God. And then I'd have to rewrite the list and try to work out what I needed to get from out. And it was really frustrating. Um, and it was just like, th got rid of them. I, I would maybe would like to maybe come back to the Leagues of Votan at some point uh, because they are really, really cool. But if they let me use the Necromunda models, then that's 100% going to happen. But yeah, these guys are pretty cool. Um, you've got these sort of really cool aesthetics um, for them. And you kind of get to see it here. Um, they've got this really kind of like nice sleek look to their bikes. They've got the long courts. They've got these really cool sort of air suits. But their helmets are basically just visors that drop down. Um, none of the helmets here are closed, but you can kind of see it with this guy here. That visor drops down and they kind of have that little Starcraft Marine type look. Now, comparing to the Necromunda unit of their sort of similar kin, and you'll see what I mean by how cooler the Necromunda models are to the normal Leagues of Autumn. These are the Necromunda um, unit. These are the Ironhead Squat Prospector Gangs. And these are basically your, like, this is the gang that you would use to play in Necromunda. But unlike Age of Sigma, where things like Warcry and Warhammer Underworlds gets rules in their army for um, those games in the Age of Sigma books, Necromunda doesn't seem to have that. And this kind of screams out that it should, because they're literally Votan, they're squats. They're Votan that live on Necromunda. Surely, they should have rules in the Leagues of Votan list. Um, and it would be really cool, because it, it's a slightly different um, troops choice, maybe, that the, the army could get. And they do look really cool. They do share similarities to their their counterparts over in the main Votan range. You've got that sort of spacesuit, mining suit type look, but it's a little bit different. They've got little cooler looking helmets. Um, but yeah, and the guy's got a thunder hammer, so why would you not want that? They are really, really cool, and yeah, so they definitely need to um, be in the Leagues of Voltan list. So I would definitely would love to see Games Workshop, when the Leagues of Voltan get redone, of bringing these from Necromunda into 40k so we can actually use them in our 40k armies. That would be really cool. I mean, like, even a detachment. Like, could you imagine how easy this could be? That you could literally just make a detachment for these models in your Votan army. That that detachment is this hold, this kin, this clan that live on Necromunda and do all of their mining stuff. And it, it would really work. And then you could easily just add in some of the normal leagues of Votan of the guys that have been there to, to strengthen their, their hold or their, their sort of warrior aspect rather than the, um, the the sort of mining aspect. I think that would be a really cool idea. So that is the new sort of previewed um, squats, not Votan, that are coming to Necromunda. Um, it's a game that I don't often really look at because obviously there are certain parts of it that just don't interest me. And I did play it really back in the day. Um, it's really kind of cool that it's expanded quite a lot. I just wish that Games Workshop would port some of this over into 40k like even the imperial guard should technically be able to use the gangs that would make sense the slaves of the darkness use war cry war bands in their army um so why can't the guard use the gangs in theirs it would kind of make sense and it kind of ties everything together to be in that one big universe of warhammer 40k which would be a good thing so what do you think of the new squats? Uh, do you like them? Do you, Would you want to use them in your Voltan army? And I will see you in the next video. So please remember to subscribe, like, and comment to this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Goodbye for now.